right off the line. Are we just we just testing characters out here. That's what we that's what we doing. I mean, Two, back in Smash Four, one, his Roy go. was a real one. I really love watching Dexter's Roy, but the thing is, Dexter's Roy is prone to some unfortunate situations. Cause like he gets cool stuff like this. Look at how strong that opening was um, combo using the up air and the back air just to get Wolf at such high percent already, and he's moving all over him. Roy's up air is so strong, but the hard part is. Recovering as Roy and um, consistently getting kills, which he does kind of struggle with both. But when he gets them, he can explode early. Now, I will say one thing he doesn't have to worry about. Sigodo isn't known for his edge guards, so maybe that might not play as much of a factor. But getting that kill is still going to be a struggle. Um, hopefully, ZD has a jab the back here on lock. Oh, yeah. or you can just run out and do it. Just Smack. spare that man. <laughs> that forward air off stage feels so strong. He just runs out. And, like, with the worst form possible, just runs out and smacks you in the face with a sword. Yeah. Ooh, no tech, no punish, though, does not matter. And, oh my goodness, he's channeling his inner fox. If you get hit by falling up air, whenever I get hit by falling up air from Roy below 20, I have hard palpitations. Do you know what's coming? Every single time, you're gonna get uh, up air at least three more times. Ooh. There was no tech, he could have killed him actually. If he would have, he didn't even need a jab to reset. I think a straight out, oh, ew. Oh my gosh. He tried to hit him with that earlier, but Seagull Joe evaded it. This time, though, not so much. And it was the same exact setup where he literally jumped at him and then did it. Yeah, double edge dance. Um, people are looking at the numbers and like some people are saying it's about as strong as Limit Cross Slash. Yeah, know. I think it's like less than 10% difference in when it kills. Yeah. Um, and what makes it so scary is he's falling with so many up airs that if he opts to do a side B, that's a different timing. So you let go of your shield already. Oh, oh, oh no, he's oh. dead. God dang it. Three stock with the Roy? Don't sleep on my Roy. The boy? Yeah. ZD, say it louder for the people in the back. The boys are back in town. Wow. Please don't learn, Roy. Because I don't want to learn another magic for ZD. I've already fought his Falco, his Wolf, and his Fox. God dang it. Yeah. Wait, my mind farted. I thought that was Dexter. I'm so used to seeing Roy and thinking Dexter. Nah, nah, that was That, was, that was ZD. All right, all right. All right I'm Dexter, man, he nice, but he can't doing ZD stuff. My man, my man was combo-in. Wow. Oh, and Seagull Joe, a little bit of a mind game. He said he was messing around with Rob. <laughs> but let's not forget, ZD actually has nightmares about this character. He's been having it for at least four or five years now. That's like when you tell like one of your best friends well, something that like really makes you scared, and then one day they like tease you with it. It's like, come on, man, I trust yeah, you. Come on. Like, you know what Rob does to me. It's already doing better, and there's no way Seagull's Rob is nearly as good as his wolf. I'm pissed. Oh my gosh. ZD, if you lose this bum ass Rob, I swear. <laughs> Like, <laughs> this is crazy to me. This is wild. Seagull Joe with the, the in game, out of game, mind games right now. We're going to see if it pays off. ZD just all of a sudden knows, like, look, I figured it out. I'm facing my fears. What's up? I'm coming at you. And it's working at the moment. He actually just picked Rob. I know that Joe doesn't have a Rob. He yeah, plays a like. Little bit. He says he plays Rob. But he, he, says he says he plays, plays everyone. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Missed the conversion right there, got the jabs. I do not gonna do it yet. Middle of the stage and Rob a little bit heavier than Wolf. Ooh! Good air dodge. Did that jab just hit Rob's shield on the top platform? I feel like it would have only hit his shield though. If he I didn't don't have care. A <laughs> That's not okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, ZD gonna take stock number one despite how scary it was looking at first. I mean, hey, if anything bad happens to Rob, this character's done enough bad things to everyone in this region. I don't feel bad about it. So that, so that, that forward smash coming through, taking up that stock, only down by 14. Yeah, his Rob's doing way better, and I don't know how to feel it. We all know how to beat CD now, I guess. Uh. Whoa. That's a, that's, that, he might be a Rob man. When you throw outside being neutral, you might be a Rob man. Not like that. Wait. He might be a Rob main, man. I've been hit by that neutral a couple times as well. Ooh. What are you doing? Not today. <laughs> this match is so confusing. Joe's actually just side being in fairy. Okay, but tell me that did not work. <laughs> tell me you don't got to leave working. right now. That's the thing. I'm so confused. He's using it like Rob's fair as he would any other character's back air. And it's working. I feel a side beat coming on. I feel it in my bones. He's gonna up smash. Oh wait, no. Nice respect on that. Just going right with the up air. Okay, got the back air. Pretty even right now, ZD. Are you gonna go out for the edge guard or are you staying? Ooh! He's out of here. 
That was so smooth. He came back on to kind of give a false sense of security to Seagull, and then he's like, actually, I'm still here. Always here, always watching, waiting, commiserating. And say it ain't so, oh, he dropped down from the ledge, and ZD's gonna go down right to that blast zone. Yeah, very unfortunate for him, giving Seagull Joe another chance to play the, the game, to tie it up, but sheesh, it was only for a moment. And ZD just quick 63 tacked on, moment's notice. And this is, I mean, that's a classic Rob, you know? He's great until you hit him, and then you can hit him a lot and then potentially kill him. Ooh. If he had back air at that, yeah. that would have been clean. But he doesn't have a jump. Oh, he almost, or excuse me, Joe almost reacted to that appropriately. Got a great edge guard off that. A little bit of back and forth right now. Seagull Joe not at the better end of it when it comes to percents. Oh, my. Wait, we live in. He got the sour spot. Wait. Up B. That's okay. so hard to tech, but actually, Joe's just matter? lucky. Yeah, he got set at a good <laughs> angle. That's hella attackable. Why, why is he so bold? With oh, I guess he's so bold because he's used to, like, Fox. So he's like, look, my recovery is so bad off stage that anyone else is a blessing. So I'll go out there now. And plus, it's like the new character, like, confidence. What's, when you've had something bad happen to you so many times with um, your old character, sometimes you just get scared to go for things in certain situations. That's true. That's true. With the new characters, like, it's like having a new car. It's like, wait, let me see how fast I this can go. Like, how can this break? Like, how good could I hit this right turn right here? You know, you're kind of testing everything, and you're getting more off of it. So that he's definitely testing. Right now, it's working. Game number three, ZD up 2-0. Seagull Joe trying character number three. We're going to see if it works out for him. Yeah, checking deep pockets. Every pocket he's got. <laughs> Even that little small one inside your front right pocket where you don't really put anything. I put quarters. Really? Yeah. I think that's the only thing like that's good for it. Quarters and like chapstick. I actually need the chat to answer this. Do you guys put anything in it? Because I definitely don't put anything in it. Yeah. Unless like a, a, a key occasionally, if like I go run out somewhere, I'm like, I'll put a key here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a keychain. But like, yeah, the, that pocket's like mostly like a very niche uses. Just like, um, I don't know, Roy, but Roy's looking like a jack of all trades at the moment. Oh, well, maybe not at this moment. When he was up two games, it was great. The recovery was good. The edge guard attempt was smart. I can't believe that worked out for ZD. Yeah, such a great fade back. And that was a Fox recovery, if I ever saw one, where you recognize you're out of resource and you have to do something that's not optimal, quote unquote, but it'll help you live. And living's pretty optimal, if you ask me. Because oh. you can set up for situations like that, almost getting the kill on Joe. And the sourest of spots, the wet noodle schmack. <laughs> Just enough to kill. Why is he Roy so good at edge guarding? Why is this a thing? Uh. All right. Fires right back. See, only down 21%. Not the end of the world by any means. But, oh my, that reset was so good. That was the frame trap. All right, Seagull. Seagull's going to get something going. Ooh, the jump. remix. My man hit him with the Nair. Fair Nair. Okay, we see you. Something a little different, something for your mind. But, I mean, Joe's doing a good job bringing it back. But it's just these. I feel like the pressure's always on Joe to live. And he's not any, putting any kill pressure on yeah. um, ZD. Def definitely see that. Um, I, I do wonder if Joe's actually ever going to go for a counter to punish Roy's up B. That is a thing Palu can do. Oh, yeah. I mean, ZD definitely is aware of his counter. He tried to counter the Nair that never came. Ooh, up air attempts. No! Seagull just kind of lets him back for free. Surprise! Yeah, Joe's not getting any other edge guards. Nice, hitting the jab to the back air. Now ZD, tournament stock, can 3-0 seal Joe. And I'll, he can make that, but not through the air. Yeah, Actually, that's the hard there's part. There's still some hope. Oh, he does it. He gets 1.2% for his troubles. Oh, no, not like this. It's about to be way more than 1.2% if ZD keeps on having his way. Is he going to counter? Wow. Tried in with the seagull Joe. He did. Oh, that's really smart, actually. He knew the roll was coming in because the back throw would have taken it. So instead of rolling, standing up straight, he got up with the button and finished the roll. That's actually really, really nice. Yeah. And plus, it's like, Roy's Nair is pretty safe, too, from fastball. So, you know, it's pretty low risk, high reward. And yeah, because of that. stayed out there so long. I, I swear he got an extra 10 frames just for that interaction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we get the jump? He just drop zone down here, like, better than all. That would have worked. At this point, you might as well. Yeah. I was about Ooh. to say I felt the forward smash. I was really about to be like, yo, I feel a forward smash. I was feeling it too, actually. Like, as soon as he dashed dance back and forth, I'm like, there 